Dr. David Lenkes from Syracuse University said recently in a blog post that a library is not a building or a collection, but an intensely human conversation on how we wish to be. A library is a promise that our knowledge is not limited to the minds around us and our dreams are not limited by location. School librarians with strong school library programs can make dreams come true for their students, their staffs, their administrators, and their communities. Our students can be college and career ready, and we will help to make that happen. School librarians are the partners in the creation of a school's vision, and that vision needs to be forever progressive. If a student's education is a brick building with many rooms and floors, school librarians are the mortar between the bricks and build bridges to the future. We are prepared to be in the forefront to bring the common core and critical thinking to life, and we bridge problem solving and decision making beyond the four walls of our school for our students' lifetimes. But for that to happen, School librarians need to be educational leaders and need to be networked for their own personal learning. The days are gone when a school librarian or a teacher can teach with the door shut figuratively as well as literally. School librarians need to be encouraged to keep their library programs, the resources, instruction, facilities, and reading and research guidance fresh and deep responsive to their students, staff, and school communities. I found a path away from the personal shyness of my early 20s to leadership as the president of the, of the section of school librarians of the New York Library Association in 1993 to 1994, the American Association of School Librarians in 2007 to 2008, and currently as a member of the American Library Association Executive Board and President of the New York Library Association. And I did that through involvement in regional, state, and national library associations. I showed up and I said yes to being involved when I saw that the ideas and excitement that enriched not only myself, enriched my school libraries programs. I knew early what state and national education initiatives were about to become required and how to meet them in the school library by hearing from colleagues and education department representatives. For instance, I didn't learn in library school how to integrate technology into my own library teaching. After all, it was pens, pencils, microfilm, and card catalogs then. But I did learn to do that at library conference and association meetings, and then was able to also train teachers and staff, as well as teach my students. And the people that I meet at meeting and conferences are the smart, savvy, passionate members of the profession, the lifelong learners, the early adopters in the directions that make vibrant, responsive school library programs. My life is richer for those colleagues, and I appreciate the administrators who said, go learn and come back with ideas for us. And I have. Thus, involvement with school library and professional organizations is a smart answer to ensure that school librarians' knowledge is not limited only to the minds around us, and our dreams are not limited by location. The door is open, the fresh air streams in. Our students leave our school libraries as lifelong learners, and they are more ready to be whatever they want to be.